Hey everyone, welcome back to Keto Treat Day. Stay tuned to see what I chose for my salty treat week. Welcome back to Keto Treat Day with the Keto Treat Gal. Today I got a salty treat for you and we'll go over that in a moment. Of course, there'll be a slideshow after on how to make it super, super easy. You know this Keto Gal here always makes it easy for you guys. But we're going to read our prayers and promises to start with. And we're on preservation. In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that will get you the prize. Amazing, I like that. That's 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 25. My husband would love this because he's a runner. And that's true, you know, go for the gold, you know, be bold, be, be a, you know, just the best Christian you can be, be bold, go for the gold, go for everything for God, do everything for God. The next one is Psalms 119.10. I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from my commands. You know, that's what God says. He's trying to find you. He's trying to get you, you guys. We're getting to end times and God needs you. He's trying to find you. So don't run from his commands. Don't run from him. Do not, you guys. 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. And I think I've read this verse to you guys before, not in here, but I've read it before. And yeah, my husband, he loves that verse because he's a runner. And you know what? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Keep the faith always in God. Always have that faith in God. And the last one is Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for the proper time will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Never give up, you guys. Just like today was a huge day for me. And I woke up tired. It's Monday, my day for cleaning. Now, this is prior to the 4th of July, you guys. So it's coming up. I hope you guys will be safe, happy, and healthy. But by the time you get this video, it'll already be past the 4th. Um, but today was my cleaning day. And I just was just so exhausted and tired when I woke up today. But I got on my knees and I prayed to God and asked him for the strength. You know, I told my husband... Um, you know, today's my cleaning day and I just so tired. He goes, why don't you take a week off? You know, you do it every week. I said, no, I am not taking any time off of my cleaning. If it, sorry, I thought I had something in my tooth. I said, if I let it go a week, even after just a week, I clean every day, you guys. Every day I'm wiping tables down and cleaning and vacuuming and doing, you know, daily chores or whatever. And yet after a week, I even took a picture again to show my husband how dirty the water was just in my living room from dusting in a week. It's important to clean. And like God says, get yourself up early in the morning. Wake up and start your day. Enjoy the day that God gave you. Cherish the day you have, the day that he gave you again. He gave you another day. Cherish it and, you know, do something with your life. Don't just sit around. Take advantage of it and, and you know, do something. Like uh, Pastor Son was saying yesterday, um, uh, he was talking about how people will lay in bed for a while and pretty soon the clock and it's like five o'clock, you know, they've wasted the whole day. Don't waste your time. Take advantage of the whole day and do things, do just do things all day long. I cleaned for three and a half hours and then I did my toe video for my 4th of July look and now my treat video for you guys. And when I'm done, I still gotta finish up the rest of my toe video doing my shoe collection. So I've been going strong since very early this morning, I've been going strong, yet the house is amazing. The food smells so good right here, God, I can just smell those onions on it and the, oh, it just smells so good, the seasoning. We'll go over that though. Uh, but yeah, do things with your life. Don't waste your life. Take advantage of every day that God gives you. Every day he gives you, take advantage of it. The other side is God. The other side, God, when Moses' um, arms were tired, you went, no, I'm sorry. God, when Moses' arms were tired, you sent others to hold them up. Though his obedience, sorry, I'm reading it wrong again. God, when Moses' arms were tired, you sent others to hold them up. Through his obedience, you granted the army victory. You granted the army victory. At times I feel so exhausted, like today, but I know that you are holding me and helping me 
pres uh, preserved. And he sure did, man. I just got that burst of energy after I, I prayed. And God got me through the whole day, and I'm still going strong. I just think what happened is the reason I was so tired is um, we had, a, you know, stuff to do this weekend. And, you know, I just, I, we had to eat out, and I think something had a little bit of sauce on it that might have kicked me out of keto. I kind of felt like it did. And so I'm going back into ketosis and you get tired when that happens. So I think that happened. But I asked God for that strength and he got me going and I feel the energy again. So I feel the keto come back. It comes back fast when you just accidentally slip. It would just be a little slip. So yeah, I just love the how much God does for you. Okay. Um, and then it says, uh, you have sent others to help me along, and I know that I can. I know that I do not need to fight alone. You never need to fight alone when you have God. Doing good often requires the harder path, but it is the road I am commanded to taking. I will preserve in this race because I find my rest and my refreshment in you. In faith, I will run and not lose heart. And that's what it is. I did not want to give up today. I wanted to, you know. Win the race. I wanted to get the house clean. I wanted to do it now. It's spotless and I'm happy and proud of myself and I feel good. I accomplished something today, a lot today, and I feel so good. The bottom says, what do you feel God is calling you to preserve in right now? Well, probably to rest now because he's going to say you did so much today, so definitely just rest, but be humble and preach the good word of God to everybody. So that's what I'm doing right now for you guys. That's what I feel God's wanting me to do is teach his word to you guys so that all of you guys can, you know, be that godly person and live your life for God. Definitely live your life for God and seek out what he has for you because he definitely has a perfect plan for everybody. Start your day, end your day, and go through your day with the word of God, life's manual. The best thing you'll ever read and the best you'll ever feel when you're reading it. Read it, study it, spend quality time alone with God. Go in the back room, you know, write down scriptures and pray for people and pray for yourself and just keep seeking God and you are going to feel amazing. And don't waste your days. Enjoy every day that God gives you. So, that being said, oh, did I say that? Yeah, I already said that part, okay. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those verses and now the keto treat. They are ranch bacon, Um, let's see, I'm sorry, cream cheese and bacon ranch balls. That's what I'm calling them. And oh my gosh, don't these look good? You guys, look at them, they look delicious. No cooking here, you guys, no cooking. You'll see the slideshow, but it basically is cream cheese, mayonnaise, sour cream, and um, the Hidden Valley Ranch uh, seasoning. I've got everything, you know, uh, portioned out and everything so you know how much to use of everything. And then you just mix that in, a, you know, with the mixer and then use a spatula just to get it off the sides, mix it a little bit more, put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Then you take your bacon bits, so you don't have to do any cooking, do bacon bits. If you don't have bacon bits, then you're gonna have to cook your bacon, you'll need four slices. And I explained that in the video. But I did bacon bits and then really crushed up pecans. Make sure they're really crushed up ones, and I had some on hand, make sure they're really tiny, just as tiny as the bacon bit. Make sure they're tiny. And then green onion and chop those pretty fine too, and you just need one green onion. and then. Yeah, pull the mixture out after an hour, roll them into balls. This made 10 balls with the recipe. It was eight ounces, so one full block of cream cheese. It made 10 of them. Then roll it into the mixture of the bacon bits, the uh, pecans and the onions, roll it in that, and this is what it turns out. And then you put it in the fridge for another half hour. What a beautiful, you know, first off, they're pretty looking, be great for parties. I know this is already past the 4th now, but this would have been a great thing to bring to the 4th of July for your family. If you did get together with your family or just yourself, you know, your immediate family at home, whatever. Um, but yeah, these would be great. And they smell so good. I can't wait to taste one. I've been sitting here smelling it for so long because it just smells good in my house when I was making them. So I'm excited. But yeah, this is a cold one. You don't have to do any cooking other than if you have to make your bacon and then you're going to crumble it in little pieces. But I recommend just get the bacon bits. Much easier, you guys. So let's go ahead and try one. Let's get a really nice, beautiful one. I'm going to stand up here and show you. Look at that, you guys. Oh, my God. I can't wait to taste this. Oh, and all of them came to 13 carbs for 10 of them, which means each one is on, is just over a carb, just a little over a carb. Can you believe that? And they're pretty big when you set it in the hand. It's like a, a donut hole size, like the size of a donut hole. So let's try it. Oh, my God. These are good. Look at the inside. Let me turn that way just a little bit. Look at that. Oh my God, you guys. And like I said, it was, I did a cream cheese and I thought, you know, I want to do some flavors in it. So I mixed in real mayonnaise 
and mixed in sour cream, real sour cream, and then Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I just used two tablespoons, but you're gonna get the recipe. Don't worry about that. Oh my God, these are delicious. Now, you can do it with, I love it with the green onion. You can do it with the green onion, or you can do it with green, um, with chives, or you can do it with jalapeno peppers. It would make it hot, but you want all those pieces really, really tiny when you roll it for the green part on the outside. Oh my gosh, these are so yummy. And I just got done having my dinner, uh, breaking my fast, so this is included in that. Mmm. And I saved the room because I need extra fat because these are definitely going to be fattening with the mayonnaise, the cream cheese. Now, the cream cheese, that calls for the whole box, but the mayonnaise is only a couple of tablespoons and the sour cream is only a couple of tablespoons. I think the mayonnaise is one tablespoon of sour cream. I decided to do one tablespoon of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of sour cream. And like I said, I'm going to try one more, you guys, because these are so good. Get another picture of that. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my God, these are good. The flavor, the burst. Oh, hang on, my stuff is... <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I was saying that my phone is getting ready to go dead here in a little bit. <laughs> the flavors this provides. And I thought, what can I name them too? Because I use the ranch seasoning and all that. I thought, perfect. I'll just call it cream cheese and bacon ranch cheese balls, okay? Yum. Well, I did say cream cheese, so it'd just be uh, cream cheese and bacon ranch balls. Mmm, 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 look at that, you guys. Oh my God. I don't know how I keep coming up with these ideas, but these are delicious. Oh my God. Yum, 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 yum. So right there I had, I would say, under three carbs. And I had the fat left over and I had the carbs left over. I already ate my dinner. If you want to know what I had, an egg salad sandwich with that uh, zero net carb bread, but it is not zero net, it is four net carbs a piece. So it was eight carbs for the bread and I just made an egg salad with just the mayonnaise and eggs. And then I had um, cucumber salad my cucumber salad that I make with the bacon bits and the ranch dressing. I had a portion of that. And I had, um, what else did I have with it? A couple, um, oh no, I didn't have that. Okay, I had one hot dog. It was a one carb hot dog. I had a hot dog on the side for a little extra fat. Just getting ready to have to go grocery shopping again. And then I did a yogurt with the nuts. And um, no, I did the yogurts with strawberries or raspberries, I'm sorry, with raspberries, a little bit of nuts and the whipped cream. And then I did, um, I think that was it. And then I had a cup of uh, Earl Grey tea. So that's what I had to eat. And then a couple of these balls here. That was my one meal, but don't worry. I had four, yeah, four eggs with two pieces of bread. Like it was very filling. And then, oh, and I, did I? I think I had a bag of chips with it too. I think I did. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyways, when I calculated everything, these were perfect to have these in it with it. But definitely make these, you guys. Oh my God, one more picture for you guys. Definitely take that all in and make these so easy to make. A little bit more to the recipe, but a lot of people, when you're doing keto, will have the mayo, will have the sour cream, will have the cream cheese. And then you just need the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. And then you just need crushed up pecans, bacon bits, and green onion. And you're set to go. So you'll see how to do it after this video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the Bible verses. If you are new, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and help many people with their spiritual walk, but also with the ketogenic diet and all of my fashion since I have this multi-channel. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up if you thought these look amazing. I wish you could smell them. The smell alone is amazing. But yeah, shoot me a thumbs up if you think this was amazing and Run that race for God and win the gold, okay? So, other than that, everybody stay safe for the 4th. I hope you did. Of course, you're going to get this after the 4th, but stay safe for the 4th. Everybody be happy and healthy and lean on Jesus. I love all of you very much. Everybody take care and God bless. 
Hi everyone, back with another keto treat and I'm calling this cream cheese and bacon ranch balls and it makes 10 of them. You'll need a full eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese, a block of cheddar cheese, bacon bits, pecans that are also crushed up very tiny, onions, mayo, sour cream, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, parchment paper, a one cupper, a half cupper, a tablespoon, a spoon, a rubber spatula, a big bowl for mixing, a small bowl for mixing, parchment paper, a plate, and a cake or whatever you call mixer. Then we're going to start by shredding up one cup of the cheese. Then take a big bowl and open up the whole box of the Philadelphia cream cheese. Put it in your bowl. Add one tablespoon of real mayonnaise, two tablespoons of real sour cream, and then your one cup of cheese, and then two tablespoons of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Then take your mixer and mix it up. Once it's all mixed, then take your spatula and just kind of go around the sides and mix it a little bit more. Pop it into your refrigerator, and you're going to let this sit in there for one hour. Put your timer on. Now, let's get the other mix going. You're going to wash up your green onion. You just need one stock. You're going to chop it up very finely. It'll be like three tablespoons. And then you're going to put it in a bowl with a half cup of bacon bits, half cup of pecans, and then mix it up really well with a spoon. And then we're also just going to pop this into the refrigerator while we're waiting for our cream cheese mixture to get hard. Now, once everything's done, let's set up a plate with some parchment paper. Then when your cream cheese is ready, pull it out and your mixture. And now we're going to take one scoop, and it's going to be about the size of a golf ball. Roll it into a ball, and after you do that, then you're going to roll it into your bacon and pecan and onion mixture. And you'll see it right there, and then just put it on your parchment paper. This will make 10 of them. You'll see it right there. After that, you want to pop it back into the refrigerator now. And this is going to sit for 30 minutes, and then they're ready to eat. Set a timer again. There you go, guys. Oh, my gosh. These were absolutely delicious. I couldn't believe a nice crunch and then that nice creamy feeling. You definitely got to try these out. At only 1.2 net carbs, you can't go wrong. This would be perfect for parties, for just making because you want a fat bomb type of thing, or just something delicious. Always remember to keep it keto.